This is our house. It's in a very suburban neighborhood, as you can see. Uh, with the exception of a few palm trees, this could be uh, any neighborhood in Arizona or California, Des Moines or Dubuque. This house uh, is not anything special except for the fact that we have solar power, we have solar hot water heating, we have gray water system, and we have passive cooling and dehumidification. Aside from that, there's insulation in the walls and in the ceiling to protect us from, uh, to help uh, reduce our uh, energy costs. Um, all of this stuff is standard stuff that anybody can do, and we're going to show you how to do a few of these things anywhere. Des Moines or Dubuque or Dubai. Now, as you can see, as we poured the cement, we installed the pipes. In this case, uh, this three inch PVC. And uh, the finished product is just a pipe coming out of the slab, which will be enclosed in our walls. And that'll go up to um, uh, the vent in the second floor. There's the inspector. Hi, Susu. She's, she's with Say hello. She's with Cody. She's inspecting the hole. There you go. Look good? Okay. Wag your tail if you approve. Good girl. Okay. Now you can see this is the finished product. The um, pipes are now coming out of the ground under the slab and we've dug a hole around it so we can fill it with gravel and do a few other things. Okay, this next step, there are lots of different ways of doing this. Here where we live, um, it's, it's a very hot climate. We don't worry about rain so much and so we're gonna have this grill at ground level. However, if you do have an area that rains, I'd recommend that you put your pipes in an area where um, you can extend them up higher. Perhaps like next to a post uh, or along the corner of a wall. There's all kinds of things you can do. We're going to only use one side of this pipe temporarily. Um, and what I've done is I've picked up parts that we need here at a uh, Lowe's, you can get them Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace. This is some uh, three inch PVC sanitary tea. The reason we're using a sanitary tea is that um, I want air and water to run through this. So if any moisture gets in this, it'll be coming out the bottom side of this. So I'll show you how we, uh, my design for constructing this. Then of course you need a couple um, pipe clamps or hose clamps. These are, will fit um, a three inch pipe and bigger. So you just make sure you get the right size, but you need two of these and a little bit of screen. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know what this is called. It's a, I'm calling it a mushroom cap. It is meant for uh, going on top of vents uh, that you see coming out of the roof for plumbing, plumbing vents. But we're going to use it in this case to um, keep rain from going into our pipe. And like I said, since we have the sanitary tea, we're not too concerned about that. Uh, but, yeah, we just don't want rain going directly into it. Okay, now the reason for this screen, it's a little bit wet, is to keep critters out from this. So, just take your screen like that, just a little piece of screen. You can get some from a screen shop. I'm sure if you ask them nicely, they'll give you a piece. Uh, or you can buy it for pennies on the dollar. Um, and then, if, see, I put the clamp on there. Just tighten that up. Okay. We can get another piece of screen somewhere. Throw that on there. And then, see that? I'll put that on there. There you go. Make sure your screen is covering it completely. Tighten that up. Okay, now in this case, the airflow is going to come through here. Any water or moisture that might actually accidentally get through the top 
in any way will continue on down through the bottom. That's the purpose of having this uh, heat trap. And then this little hat goes on top. You just screw that on. homemade vent cover that allow your air to come in and if no critters to get in, no bugs and if any moisture does happen to get in this area for some reason, whatever reason, it'll continue to go out down. Okay. Now we could be done by just um, putting the uh, vent on the pipe obviously glue in it and uh, first and then just leaving it like that but you see this hole the reason the way I did it in, in my case is I've, I want to get this as low as possible in this case lower than the slab uh, we'll want to put some gravel in this hole and a way to protect the top of this thing so I'll be showing you that next all right, so in this case what we've done is we're going to use this catch basin kit. And like I said, there's uh, several ways of doing any of this stuff. Uh, in this case, we don't have a lot of rain that we have to worry about. So what we're going to be doing is just using this to protect, um, to, to have a, a, a way for ventilation to come in um, and protect it from the elements, but not so concerned about rain. And even if it did get filled with rain, be the, the fact that the we did uh, make our air pipes, uh, we gave it a, a drainage of, of an eighth inch per foot, it'll, um, it'll prevent it from going uphill. Okay. So we just put some gravel around the hole. And then um, that's going to be affixed in there. Okay, so now you can see how it's affixed inside there. We're making the top level with the grass so that um, once we fill this whole area with gravel, then um, it's going to support it and then um, we'll be able to walk on, right on top of it. There's the inspector. How's it look, girl? Got a tail wag. Okay, now you see the finished product, and like I said, there's always, in construction, there's always so many different ways of doing something. You can um, do it this way, you can have something coming up out of the ground if you're not worried about that getting knocked over. Um, but for me, this works out pretty good because you can still step on it, not worry about it. Like I said, we don't get a lot of rain in this area. Now this is kind of a poor man's way of doing this. You see we've got the ducting coming in through the pipes. And just to show you how you could do it without, without a vent, you can just block out, make sure you have some holes going through. And then block out the area where the air will be coming through. Once again, we're just creating a vacuum. And you can see here, we just got this. We'll throw that back on top. And you got a vent. Okay, and so when you finish out the vent, yep. I'm talking to the guys, oh. so the, the YouTube video. You're going to be a star, Mike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's Mike going to show you how to cut in a vent. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just 
out. This is years and years of experience here. Well, cut it short. And, uh, we'll cut that part out <laughs> with the video. Basically, you just feel the edges of the wood as you're cutting, keeping a sharp eye and a sharp knife, making sure you don't cut yourself. Yeah. And there you go. And basically, when the vent goes in, it's going to hold everything down. Okay, so now that it's all done, we've moved the furniture back. Um, this, it's really hard to see that anything is happening or that anything does happen with this vent, but I can assure you that this room is a, a couple degrees cooler than the rest of the house. And we've got uh, open windows everywhere else as well um, now that we've put this vent in, and that's without any air conditioning. I do have a sample of uh, some video of uh, another vent we did for a client in a... Uh, a different climate zone and uh, it works really well you can see it just so happened that in this one he has his um, bathroom uh, he's got his toilet paper that coming down and I noticed that the toilet paper was moving and, and this is no wind involved just from the passive coins so I'm going to show you that right now all right keep safe when you're doing this work uh, and keep green and remember um, to try to continue to do great things for the planet. Aloha.